Hi Libra, welcome to your general forecast for the month of February. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Libra, this will be a general forecast reading. So we're going to take the energies as they come. It could be about love. It could be about family, friends, career, finance. It could be about anything. So we're just going to see what comes out here. Please only take what resonates. Uh, don't try to make it fit if it's not your story. Hold out for the next readings and maybe they'll resonate for you. So only take what resonates and throw away the rest is what I always say. So hope everybody's doing well. Welcome in. Um, hope you had a wonderful holiday season. Having a happy new year. So even though we're in February, I am recording this uh, mid-January. So still kind of in the new year. So let's see what's going on with Libra at this time. And I do say at this time because I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past playlists or past readings, feel free. Your links are below in the description box for your love and general readings if you'd like to check that out, as well as the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading. If you'd like to send a gift or tip or donate, all that information is below. And I also will pin some of that information to the top comment below in the comment section. So with this deck, uh, Zodiac deck, we could get a sign, element, or planet, and we'll see how that uh, affects you, or it could be somebody around you, you could have the sign in your chart, if you don't resonate with this, totally, totally fine. So we have Gemini, so fellow air sign, so you could have uh, Gemini around you, you could have uh, Gemini in your chart, uh, so how that resonates for you. So let's see what's going on with this deck here, I will pull an opening message for you and then I will pull a card for your current energy and then we'll clarify that energy with the tarot there and then we'll look at your current situation we'll look at advice for your situation and we'll look at possible outcome of your situation whatever comes out here and then at the end we'll get some closing messages from that deck there this deck so let's see what's going on with Libra at this time spirit please thank you so much just want to make sure that there's not a glare because I see a glare on my end, but it looks okay for you guys. All right, so let's get an, op get an opening message for, oh, that's way too many, but I feel like, I feel like this is your card, for your opening message. So we have 18 here, shadow. So this is uh, the devil energy, Capricorn energy here. If you're not dealing with the Gemini, it could be Capricorn, but that is shadow devil energy talk could be toxic energy doesn't have to be it could be addictions obsessions could be fear self-doubt negative energy uh fear anxiety stress worry kind of energy so we'll see how that plays out all right so let's get a current energy so there could be something here uh either you or somebody around you could have fear doubt uh could be addictions, obsessions, uh, negative energy, toxic energy. Um, I don't know. We'll see how this plays out. Somebody could, could need to face their shadow side, do that shadow work to heal. All right. So let's get your current energy. So we have the three of cups. So this is good energy. This is about rejoicing, celebrating, coming together, reuniting, having a good time. Um, I don't know if this is... You know, I don't know if that could be a third party energy. I mean, I don't usually get that with the three of cups, but we'll see what happens with the other cards when we clarify. But for me, the three of cups is always about reuniting, rejoicing, celebrating people coming together, having a good time, going out for a drink um, kind of energy. So celebrating something, celebrating, maybe somebody finally overcame. Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe they went to rehab. Maybe they did something here where they overcame some sort of toxic energy now and now it's like obviously if they went to rehab they're not drinking but it could be just celebrating in some way shape or form um beating something being an addiction beating um something here healing themselves i feel like somebody healed themselves their shadow side and now there's like going out celebrating having a good time rejoicing that something was finally beat overcame but we'll see Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Patience, 14. Uh, Sagittarius energy. So this is about balance energy, tempering energy, patient energy, having um, healing energy. 
So, and the patient uh, temper temperance angel usually always brings in something something divinely guided. So this person could have been divinely guided and led to heal some part of their shadow self, some part of them that they have been uh, conquering. It could be fears, it could be doubts, it could be um, anything here. And having patience with themselves, or you having patience with them, however it works for you, as they temperate, temperance, <laughs> temper themselves and balance themselves and heal themselves, finally overcoming this, whatever it was, and now coming back together and celebrating. Hmm. All righty. So let's clarify what's going on here for you, Libra. This could be you. This could be somebody around you, affecting you in some way. Um, you do have Capricorn, Sagittarius, Gemini. So however that resonates for you. We have water here uh, with this card here. But let's see... Um, what is this energy about for Libra at this time? Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Nine of Swords. Yeah, stress, worry, fear, anxiety, um, worry energy, nervous energy. Yeah, if somebody, um, let me get one more on this energy. For Libra, what's going on here? Nine of Wands. Okay, so we got two nines here. Nine of Wands. So we got air and fire here. Air is your energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or it could be a Gemini if you're dealing with a Gemini. Somebody really fought like the Dickens here. You know, the wounded warrior. They didn't give up. They fought through their battles here. They've been through the ringer. They've been through it. They fought. They fought over. It could be, you know, just stress, worry, anxiety, nervous energy, fears. Um kind of energy I'm not getting like addictions or obsessions like you know alcohol drugs or anything like that I feel like somebody just had a lot of I don't want to say mental problems but just a lot of things um, like negative energy within them uh, again like that self-worth self-doubt like very low self-esteem self-worth self-doubt um, fear, stress, anxiety, you know, all that like nervous fear energy, but they fought like the Dickens here to get over that shadow side of themselves and having that patient energy, healing, balance and tempering energy. You also, you, maybe you help them in this journey. You know, I feel like they, they've been through it here with the nine of wands. It could have been like trauma from the past. Also, you know, maybe they went through things in their childhood or it, Okay, I could just wear a message. Maybe some have been in the service and they've gone through PS... What is that? Um, PSD syndrome, I think is what it's called. I mean, it could be that also. Because the Nine of Wands has been through a battle, a fight, struggle. So they could have been in the service and been through some terrible things here that really affected them, challenged them mentally. As with the Nine of Swords. So maybe they had to go through therapy. Maybe they had to go through, you know, work out that energy to overcome, you know, these struggles and battles within themselves. All right. So let's see here. Ace of Swords. So mental clarity here. True clarity. Um, so big mental clarity here. Divine energy stepping in, guiding them, showing them the way. The light could be, you know new faith spirituality yeah wheel of fortune divine timing energy here fate destiny something stepping in here ace of swords uh whether it's the king queen ace always reminds me brings in divine energy for me but it's also that air energy of libra gemini aquarius so having mental clarity brand new successful new beginning in life divinely guided with the wheel especially beside it here wheel bringing in the universe help bringing in things going in a better direction of mental clarity, cutting away energies no longer serving, standing up for yourself, telling it like it is clear cut communication, success, victory, overcoming this successfully. Yeah, Emperor, taking charge, taking the lead, overcoming this. You know, I can overcome <clears throat> this energy, this person. And now we got the three cups on the three cups. So double. Double celebration here, celebrating, overcoming, taking control, overcoming things, and having that successful mental clarity moving forward. 
the wheel stepping in, the universe stepping in to help in this aid in this process, especially with the patient temperance angel bringing in divinely guided energy, overcoming shadow energy of the past. All right, so let's see what the actual situation. Knight of Pentacles, you know, it's been a long, slow, hard process here, but being very smart, practical, guided, taking the right steps, um, kind of energy to stability. It's been a process, I feel, because I see like the pentacle here and the pentacle here. So it's been a long process, but, you know, we got there. Two of Wands, so now making plans, decisions, moving forward for the future. Now being able to move forward in a new way, a new light, a new way of life, and more stable, grounded energy. Being very smart, practical, and grounded. Queen of Wands, King or Queen, doesn't matter. And also this reading, I forgot to mention at the beginning, is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter. Had a bit about love. I mean, this could be your love partner. This could be anybody. It could be a family member, friend, uh, someone around you, or it could be you. I mean, how it resonates for you. But it could be Sun, Moon, Rising, uh, Venus, Jupiter. This uh, reading is for Libra. So I forgot to say at the beginning, so sorry about that. So the Queen of Wands is right in the middle of the spread over the Emperor. So being in control and being that fiery, passionate energy once again, that zest for life, going after it with a lot of zest, drive, ambition, fire, and passion. No more being weighed down by mental conflict, our shadow side, shadow self. No more of that. Page of Cups. So this could be um, loving communication, a peaceful, harmonious uh, communication. Could be divine energy as you see like the water there is very healing it's very fluid could be divine energy coming in washed maybe washed over them in a very healing way it gave them that divine energy to move forward and to heal could be apologies you know people around them to you you to them however it resonates for you could just be you know more loving communication now from them and a more loving compassionate caring energy Apologies of some kind. Could involve a child also. Let's just get one more. Eight of Pentacles. So, you know, again, with the slow process with the Pentacle energy, but not giving up and, you know, putting in the dedicated effort and the hard work. Moving forward, slow, hard process. But now being in that King or Queen of Wands energy, that fiery, passionate, go-getter, zest for life. Energy, making those plans, decisions, moving forward, no more loving, care, and compassionate energy and um, communication, apologies, however it resonates for you. So this could be you, could be somebody around you, could be your lover, it could be anybody here. So let's get advice for this um, energy. So now we got the Queen of Pentacles. So again, knowing self-value and worth, nurturing, caring your, yourself, coming out of this energy and knowing how to take care of yourself, how to stay stable and grounded, how to nurture and care for yourself so you stay in that energy. Slow, hard working process, but not giving up and knowing exactly the steps you need to take when you get down or stuck in the mud. You know how to get out of it now. You know what steps to take. You or your person, however it resonates for you. That's your advice. So the advice is to stay in that energy of... Um, you know what to do. You know how to get out of energy of being stuck in the mud. So let's see. Two of swords. Yeah, when you're feeling indecisive or not sure what's going on or what to do. But deep down, you know. You know what to do. Because Emperor Empress energy here. So you could definitely be with a soulmate here. And overcoming all this energy together. You know, when they get stuck in the mud and they're unsure, unclear what you know you know i've learned what i need to learn to move forward overcoming difficulties and maybe sometimes they get stuck stuck in their head unsure but you're always there right by them side right by their side to help them get unstuck so that's the advice is to you know always be there for them to help them get unstuck to bring you know clarity stability back in to clear their mind when they get stuck or you, them, them to you, however it resonates for you. Yeah, two of pentacles. So working together and you see um, 
Is that an owl swooping in here? So, and we got two, so unity, two, two people swooping in here, helping them, knowing their value, their worth, working together when they're feeling imbalanced to bring balance back in and say, look, okay, this is what we need to do. You know, I see you're down, I see you're stuck, you know, having a little bit of trouble. Let's do this together. Let's get you unstuck. Getting that mental clarity, stability. All right, so let's see what the outcome of the situation is. Three of Pentacles, again, working together, teamwork, collaboration, working together, working together, moving forward. Very stable, grounded energy. And the Fool taking a leap of faith, resetting, starting at zero. I feel like you know how to like reset them. <laughs> It's like you know how to reset their clock. You know, when they get stuck in the mud, they get unsure. They kind of look like they're falling back into that past energy. It's like you know how to work with them to unstick them and reset their clock back to zero to move forward. All right. And the Three of Swords. Yeah, heartache, pain, sorrow, hurt. When they're feeling like hurt, Maybe thinking back on the past. Again, I'm feeling like some somebody here may have gone through something traumatic that really, really affected them. Whether they were in the service or they witnessed a bad accident or they were in a bad accident or they witnessed something or been through something very, very um, traumatic. And I think when you know you see they're in that energy, you know how to work with them to reset reset them back to zero to keep going if that makes sense all right so let's see what's on the back uh -huh. bottom of the deck we have the four of one so stability structure basis foundation home um ceremony celebrations also so very stable home life so this could actually be you and your soulmate your twin flame in this situation or just somebody in your home life so Queen of Cups being in that loving, caring, nurturing uh, kind of energy, peaceful energy. So I feel like you know you know how to bring peace, pa peace, balance, love, compassion into the stability of your um, home life. Yeah, King of Pentacles here. We have the Queen right here. So this is very much a divine soulmate couple could be here. Or could even be your parents. Maybe, you know, this is the energy of your parents or something like that. Or a couple that you know um, that has a great effect on your life for some reason. I mean, however this resonates for you. But now we have the King of Pentacles. So someone secure, stable, and grounded. Um, wise. Ten of Swords. So hurtful, painful ending here. But being successful and victorious over some sort of painful, hurtful ending here. Something ended or came to an end in somebody's life here that was very traumatic, painful, hurtful. I don't know. They've been through something or witnessed something or something here that was very traumatic where they needed professional help maybe. And maybe you aided and maybe you, you went um, with them through this time so you could learn and grow with them and know how to help them through difficult times because we have success and victory over hard times here. And we have balance over mental conflict. And starting a new chapter with the world, ending chapter, starting new chapters. And justice coming in here, equal give and take, truth, clarity, justice, manifesting a brand new beginning. So yeah, a lot of energy here. So we have the magician, which is Gemini Virgo. We have Libra, your energy. I feel like you bring justice into their world. You help bring them justice, help them manifest new beginnings, close out things that aren't serving them and having new beginnings as with the full energy here. It's like you know exactly how to work with them, what to do for them, reset their clock to, you know, close out something not serving them and manifest them forward to bring justice balance to them or them to you, however it resonates for you. But we do have uh, Gemini, Virgo, Libra. The world here always represents uh, Earth to me, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, let's see here. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, energy. 
and we have let's see we have um, Sagittarius uh, Aries Virgo Taurus Capricorn uh, let's see I'm trying to remember what's here Leo Sag Aries um, Virgo Taurus Capricorn we have the Empress here which is Libra Taurus Aquarius with the Fool so those are the other signs I see so we're gonna get some closing messages uh, for you Libra 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 so I do ask Libra if you like my energy, my style, and how I read. Please do check out my channel if you like what you see. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, hit the bell. You won't miss out on any readings. And if you do, thank you, thank you, thank you. So Libra, let's get some closing messages for you, uh, Libra. So I'm getting, you know, somebody really, really being in tune, in touch with somebody here that is a possible twin flame soulmate knowing exactly what to do when they're down when they're uh self-doubt like relapse it's like when they're relapsing you know how to like guide and reset them and bring them back to life and snap them like out of it uh sort of like in a way to really like ground and nurture them all right so and i think they really do value and appreciate you are you them however it resonates for you they treasure you very balanced energy. So let's get some, a lot of good times between the two of you when things are going good, I see. And I don't get like things get bad. I just feel like, you know, like, you know, you understand your person or they understand you, what they've been through. Yeah. <laughs> and as I said that, the Ten of Cups. This is perfect harmony between two soulmates. This is love, emotions are overflowing, fulfillment in every single way. Prairie dog, it's time to express your love and appreciation for family, be it relatives or a chosen family of close friends. Congratulations may be in order on a happy, fulfilling marriage, as well as raising happy, balanced children. So again, I felt that soulmate energy between, you know, could have a family um, energy here, but very committed. To each other understand each other fully support each other all right so what else do we have here the three of winter and we have the three of swords here so that's a double confirmation so uh rose breasted gross beak sadness is a part of life but you don't have to endure it alone exactly you may need a little time to heal but once you work your way through the emotions you'll be stronger than before so exactly and I think, feel this person helps, or you help them, however it resonates for you. As you see the two soulmates consoling each other again. Wow. All right, so let's get one more, and then we'll do the bottom of the deck. That's two. Let's take that one. Queen of Springs. So we had the, I thought we had the Queen of Wands here. I think we thought we had it somewhere. But Queen of Wands... I thought it was in here somewhere, but um, maybe not. Anyway, Queen of Spring, Queen of Wands, talented, brilliant, independent, charming. And this is the cover of the deck, so that's a very special message. So, Persian Cat, don't under underestimate your ability to manifest your dreams. You may have several priorities vying for your attention all at once, but you can do it. So this is, again, being that go-getter, passionate kind of energy, having that zest for life once again. Um, yeah, Queen of Wands right there, right in the middle of your spread. So double confirmation of that. So we have two Queen of Wands here. Two Queen of Wands, two Three of Swords. Wow. So double confirmation of that as I mess up my cards. That's okay. So let's do the bottom of the deck for you. And I already can see it's more fire energy. So we have the five of spring, Ram. Occasionally you may experience clashes with others. You decide the matter is worth your energy, then do what you can to minimize the conflict without sacrificing your goals or beliefs. But, you know, that can be about conflict around you, but to me it can also be about inner conflict. So I feel like when you, you know, you or your person comes across this inner conflict, 
this hurt, this sadness like resurfaces. The other one is there to help and guide, aid them, temper them, um, conquer that shadow side and raise them out of that energy. In a very balanced way. Wow, okay, <laughs> Libra. Well, I hope that made sense for you. And uh, I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. Good luck to you. And as I always say with my channel, it's to always, always shine your light.